Hi! Welcome to Fiasco Knots! Uh, and that's my dad. Hi. Dr. Tom Hink. Uh... Welcome. Yeah, I so, didn't know you are a doctor. I am, yeah. El Doctore. Cool. Works in that er. That's how you <laughs> pronounce it, right, Dad? That's how you pronounce it. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's rolling the dice. So patient and understanding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, after the last Boston New Wozniak, I thought of a Brian Cranston story that I wanted to share. Uh, so I went to school for writing for television. It's actually my degree. We had like a speaker come in to explain to us like how the TV biz works. She explained to us like the pilot process and the biz of like selling a show, coming up with a concept and a team, making the pilot happen. And she was talking about one project that she was a producer on. And she says, uh, I want to show you, I want to show you one that wasn't a success. I want to show you one of the pilots I worked on that wasn't a success. And so, like, she had us watch the entire pilot, and it is 40 minutes. It's like, you know, drama length. And she says, I want you to tell me, everyone, I want you to watch this pilot, and I want you to tell me what went wrong with it. And so we're like, okay. And so you watch this pilot of the hot dog baseball guys, and for for most of it, it is like just a kind of like kind of funny show about guys in their forties. Um, <laughs> up until the very end, it's it's Brian Cranston's surprise birthday party, and he's outside, and he's talking to his wife outside the door. And he says, hey, I, could, I really got, I got to talk to you about something. And uh, she says, can it, can it wait? And he says, no. And, and he has this line. He says, um, so painfully, uh, like it hurts him to say this. He says, I, I don't want to touch you anymore. Which is like, that's a bad line, right? Like, that's just a bad line in a script. But he, he knocked it out of the park. You believed it. You believed that suddenly this guy is just not attracted to his wife anymore. And he just doesn't want to touch her anymore. Uh, heartbreaking. He killed you with that line. Um... And then the pilot ends. She's like, starts crying, and then the, <laughs> the door opens for the dumb surprise party. <laughs> and it's like, you know, the, it's the dumb guy comedy. <laughs> and that was a lesson she learned. She said, yeah, we, uh, when we were testing it with our focus groups, you know, they said the ending was too sad. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> Cranston was just like too good of an actor for the show. <laughs> and like it never got picked up, you know? Nobody wanted to buy hot dog baseball guys if Cranston's just gonna be like too depressing. She said like if we could do it again, you know, we would just have him not hate his wife suddenly. <laughs> Show, 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 so if you, as long as you hit that last whip after the finish line, you're fine. That's not funny. Get an That's iPhone, dude. Okay. This is more secure. Yeah, we're on Slack now, man. Yeah, you gotta. There's Slack. better ways to do this. We can just text each other. You're actually calling there. more attention to yourself yeah. by using that yeah. thing yeah. than you would be it to just looks use like a smartphone. A Did you guys? Throw that is the exact opposite of a secret yeah. identity, dude. Yeah. Did you guys throw away your communicators? Yes. I worked so hard on these. Yeah, but they all looked like our powers. They you can't stay secret. I use, use mine a for phone. a bong now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I've seen him do that. Or rules.
<laughs> they make custom noises depending on what your powers are, too. Yeah, you they make they them do. when he smokes with it. Yep. Oh. It goes like... Burr, burr. That's right. Yeah, you do it better than me, I don't know. Burr, 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 burr. It was close, yeah. That was about right, yeah. So you like boxes, I get it. That don't press me much. <laughs> so I thought of that because of... Alright. So you like boxes. <laughs> Alright. Stupid. Stupid. Don't, don't worry about it. That don't press me. I like real men. So you got a car? That don't impress me much. So my question to the panel is, what was your force first contact with someone in the gaming industry? What was that like and who was it with? I was at E3. Okay, here we go. I'm standing in the side with Damiani. Who walks into the bathroom? The bathroom? Walks into the bathroom. You... Suzuki. What's he doing at E3? Hanging out? Yeah. Wasn't announcing anything Shemu related. This was a while ago. Yeah. What's that guy doing here? I go, Damiani. Are you sure it's him? I'm like, Damiani, dude. Damiani. Damiani. Was that you, Suzuki? <laughs> I needed confirmation. What do you say? I don't know. <laughs> no I'm like, help. dude, I think it was, man. I think it was. So I wait. I don't go in the bathroom because that's weird. Uh huh. So I wait. Yeah. And I'm waiting. And out flocks you, Suzuki. And at E3, the LA Convention Center, it's the the food <gasps> area right there. That's in that food court, that picture? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. I have a, I have a, it was my Twitter picture for a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. There's like a... I was like, what, what's you doing in this <laughs> random diner? Where is this? <laughs> it's totally the <laughs> cafeteria. Yeah. Yeah. The food court. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah, the yeah. little food court in the bathroom. exactly where you are. And he was with like an assistant, and she snapped the picture, and I said, thank you so much, Shenmue 3, I believe. And that was it. Walked away. I believe. Yeah. <laughs> That's so away. funny. That and I bet, Hubert, I bet at that point, he didn't even think Shenmue 3 was happening. You get far Great away. Question. They're taking him far away to the kingdom of Frakat. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, to their mistress, uh, who lives in the famed Cursed Forest. I played a card that says Cursed. Uh, Describe the mistress. Well, they're not there yet. Oh, okay. They, uh, she... they know the secret path through the cursed forest. You've activated my trap card! Secret! Damn it! <laughs> That's a great trap card. That's a hilarious <laughs> trap card. Oh, you get the secret the secret. Time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Nice, Kyle. So on the secret path. So on the secret path. They... But it quickly unravels soon after. Your vehicle handles sluggishly, the upgrades you find don't always function properly, and poor hit detection leads to cheating. Poor hit detection! The organizational layout of enemies and traps makes getting through most of the Poor hit detection. A logistical nightmare. Ha <laughs> 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 made it in. Off, Rather than lack of save points. <laughs> You really have to dig in deep to earn every inch in this game. And have uh, sometimes I wonder how many of my, uh, my subtle things get through. The aggravation. <laughs> Some classics should remain where they belong. There's like, you know, I got like a, in my, like the back of my mind, like 80,000 little memories I hate. Mm -hmm. One of them is meeting Kojima and getting him on the final boss man. Because oh, here's the that, thing. Yeah. Here's the thing, Brad, is he, I, it was, we knew he was coming in. I was assuming there was no way I would get him to shoot a bit. Me too. No yeah. way. No, yeah. And so. I felt bad even asking. I did not have a plan. <laughs> I didn't have a plan for it. And then someone, one of his handlers like was familiar with Final Bossman. He's like, do you want to shoot a Final Bossman bit? Asks me. I'm like, no, I, I don't have any ideas. Yeah. And he's like, well, how about something with Liquid Bossman? And, you know, I like, did, I wanted to kill the character off. Like, I didn't want to. And I'm just like, okay. And it's like, <laughs> let's just do a thing where we, like, meet each other.
And it's just like, it's not f- like, I hate how unfunny and uncreative the decision yeah. that I ended up with. Oh, it's one but... of my 80,000 things I hate. Yeah. Oh, wait, I remember oh, that first wait, person meant. Sorry. What? The thing with Kojimi did? Yeah. I loved it. I know. I know it's like good, but it's not like. I think, I think you did the best you could it, in the Kyle. situation. I love yeah. it. Nobody saw it coming. You had the cool oh. sound effects. Oh. It made sense lore wise. Well, I had to make it make sense. Like I had a few, a couple of months oh, to work right up to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, the mercenary king every year uh, he calls up the monster, and this is around the time that it's happening. So, so we, the, the, so the prison is underground. We say call up the monster. He he calls him up metaphorically to like stand <laughs> up yeah. to challenge him. Yeah. <laughs> And so he calls him up. He says, "Step into my mind zone." zone. Every year he Uh says this exact line. He says, "Step into my mind zone." Ethelred, Ethelred, the the mistaken. uh, Ethelred, the mistaken. Accepts it. We're going up high, waiting for a line. Gonna clean this up now. Feels good. I'm gonna let you do that to me all night long. Sid, you sticking up to Tetris? That does impress me much. Yeah, surprisingly, the character from Shania Twain's that don't impress me much and Sid. <laughs> You would think it'd be like a flash in the pan marriage because it was so rushed. It's like five years later and they're still going it's going strong. He's still impressing her. Just by caring, you know. Sid feels like the luckiest man in the world. All his life he thought he was gonna need a nice car, a nice haircut, expansive jeans to impress. The woman of his dreams. And all it took was keeping her warm in the middle of the night, you know? All it took was just being there. Caring about her. So much so that, uh... The woman from... That don't impress me much. She feels so lucky. That she gets, like, a little tattoo that says sit on it. And Sid thinks it's silly for sure, but like he's so honored by that, you know? They get a dog together. And it's cute because like they don't know how to like They don't know how to ask. Like, hey, should we get a dog, you know, because it's kind of a commitment. Um And so it's kind of a thing where it's like, uh, hey, I wanna ask I wanna ask you something, but just ask, just ask. Alright, alright. You want to get a dog? And it's like, oh my god, I wish, I would, yes, of course I want to get a dog. And so they just go and adopt a dog. Uh, they name the dog Shark. She's a cool dog. Took some training, but is extremely obedient and nice and friendly. And for Sid's birthday, He's turning 45. And they're outside the house. And Sid says, I gotta tell you something. And she says, what? And he says, I don't want to touch you anymore. (laughs) Says, I don't want to touch you anymore. She doesn't know how to. <laughs> she doesn't know how to take that. What could that possibly mean? I don't want to touch you anymore. Just, I'm, I'm like I'm simply I'm not. I'm not attracted to you anymore. We need a divorce. The end. Got some Tetrises. Mm-hmm. (laughs) 
Oh, chat, you're the, you're the best in the biz. What if you could, like, if, if, like, somebody needs a good chat, you, like, you say, we'll come hang out and watch your stream for $35 an hour, and we'll split it amongst ourselves. Like, we'll make jokes with you and, like, encourage you. And... Oh, I'm sorry, you already do that? <laughs> Are we paying for this right now?